you to go in right. He says, so I need you to go in watching me work. Oh, God. I said, Lord, okay. okay. Let me see them books. Okay. Yeah. And he said, see, you got to understand. See, I'm, I'm a note taker. I love books. And I love, all, I mean, I got all kind of spirals and all wow, kind of good wow. stuff. And I, I, I began, and I, I said, Lord, you know, I keep, I'm a keeper of my spirals and stuff because I write good notes. And uh -huh. I never know when I need to go back to them. And I start pulling all kind of stuff. And, you know, every now and then when I need to write something down, Pastor T, I'll go back into something that I already wrote in already. Oh, my God. Oh, and I'll try to find a clean page yeah. Yeah. to write it. Because even though it's full, it ain't always full. Yeah. And so I try to find the back of a page to write. Yeah, come on. Because see, you 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 think because it's big, it's still usable. Come on. So then this one is cute, but it's still written. Come on. Because see, some of us think because it's cute on the outside. Yeah. Take the trash can and the chair and make a 
finished, I finished it for you. Yeah. Yeah. Everything you started and stopped, uh -huh. I completed for you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because I needed you to be all right yeah. with a clean slate. Come on, here. Because this is not just the end of a year. Come on. It's the end of a season. Yes. It's the end of an era. Yes. It's the end of a decade. Yes. It's the end of a cycle. Yes. It's the end of a period of time. Oh. It's the end of a moment in time. Oh, this thing is deeper than what you know. Yes. You've got to understand God is not in time, but he operates oh, around time. Yes. He uses time to prepare us. What? He uses time to process us. Uh -huh. He uses time to prune us. And he uses time to promote us. Wait a minute. 
Sometimes you don't know the strength of God. Sometimes you don't know what, allow, what God allowed you to stand in. What God allowed you to go through. Until somebody take an assessment of your situation and begin to testify on your behalf. Because your body will testify for you. And tell you, honey, if it had not been the woman of God on your Look at the ball. 
Bokosha. Dangana Namanda Bokoshi. Kateka Basa. Namanda Bokosha. And I, 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 I see a stream that is coming unexpectedly yeah. from the left side of you. God said there's something supernatural that I'm doing out of you. It's going to be an unexpected stream that you did not plan for. It's a gifting. I go back to your childhood. Something supernatural that you used to love to do. God says I'm going to add it to what you're already doing. And it will flourish supernaturally. Overnight it will stand up and it will produce what it is that you needed to do. God said you will do the supernatural through that thing and you won't have to worry about this other stuff. Somebody clap your hands and celebrate the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. already feel the 2020 yeah. wave. Yeah. Take it. 
the father and the mother of the damsel and them that were with him and entered in where the damsel was laid. And he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Talitha kumai, which is being interpreted, damsel, I say unto thee, arise. And straightway the damsel arose and walked. And for she was of the age of 12 years. And they were astonished with a great astonishment. And he charged them straightly that no man should know it and commanded that something should be given her. I had too many highlights. I can't 
because the Bible says in verse number 24, huh, and Jesus went with him. Oh God, by the time I laid out my, my decree, by the time I began to talk to him, oh God, he felt what I was feeling. Yeah. And he said, okay, point me in the direction of your house. Yeah. By April, I got excited. Oh God, because he was headed my direction. I was waiting on God. I was walking with God. He was on his way oh to my, see about my business. He was on his way to see about my marriage. He was on his way to touch my body. He was on his way to heal my mama. He was on his way. This was the second quarter. God was coming to see about me. Then all of a sudden, I went from waiting to wondering because of divine interruption.
to. So I found myself worshiping. And now in the second quarter, I'm waiting. But I forgot that he told me to watch him work. One of the best ways to watch him work is while I'm waiting. So he'll put me in a position that I'm forced to watch. Because I can't watch him while I'm moving, but I can watch while I'm waiting. So you don't even realize in the season that you thought you wasn't moving, you weren't supposed to. Don't worry about it. Hey, somebody else got the house. Don't worry about it. 
J. Iris. I was worshiping him when I first met you. You didn't force me to wait on one. Now I'm whining. I ain't got a dignified. I came to you as a ruler. Oh. Now, now in the third quarter, I'm a whiner. Oh. I started as a worshiper. How did I become a whiner? How did I lose my worshiper? In the third quarter, now I'm whining. Everybody I meet, I tell them my sad story. Everybody I meet, I tell them what I'm waiting on. Everybody I meet, I let them cry while I'm crying. How did I get in this place? Because I didn't know that the death of it was part of the process. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that it did oh, down, God. actually did it down on purpose. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, because I was watching you. Oh, yeah. Work. Yeah, yeah. I was watching you work. Oh, Lord, I ain't there yet. I'm about to get there. We just talking right now. Oh, Lord, I ain't there. Jesus, those words hit the atmosphere about September, and, I, and, it, and it was coming to rape your faith. It was coming to destroy your prophecy. It was coming to take your praise, but Jesus wouldn't let it be so. And I had to snatch the words out of the atmosphere, and he said, fear not, be not afraid. The devil is a liar. I know they close, but don't you listen to their voice. My sheep know my voice, and a stranger they will not follow.
just like I talk. Yeah. And he coming to the house of the ruler of the synagogue. I'm at verse 38. Mm -hmm. And he seeth all the mourners. It's amazing. You can get a crowd to cry, but you can't get a crowd to what rejoice. What you say? You can get a crowd to cry when, when stuff is dead, but you can't get nobody to come to the baby shower. I, I, just, I just started a business. I can't get nobody to cash at me, but I can get somebody to send me some flowers when something oh. dies. I can't get nobody to send me no diapers, but you can send me... You can help me be sad, but you can't help me be happy. So Jesus comes, he can't even get in the house because there's so many people weeping and crying at the house. And so when he came in, he said, I'm trying to figure out what y'all crying about, what you weeping about. Why, why, why are you crying? The ministry not dead. It's just sleep. What? Why y'all crying? Y'all think the business is dead?
I shut the door to add to you. He said, you don't realize from January up till now, I was trying to add to you. I was trying to add to you what you asked me to do. You made some requests in January. I was trying to get them to you. All this time. But it took me working with you. Four plus five. It took me all of 2019. Four plus five. Now. He said, but when I shut the door, you don't know my mouth. I go from adding to multiplying. So then I go from four plus five to four times five. Twenty. Twenty. Come forth, minister, come forth. This is 
in the language that the room could understand. He spoke in the language that the dream could understand. He said, I don't want you to get up. I need Nick to get up. Because if Nick get up, you'll get up. If Nick get up, you'll get up.
astonished. They were in shock. They were amazed. Yeah. yeah. In the room. Yeah. In the room. In the room. In the room. <laughs> in the room. In the room. Behind <laughs> closed doors. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 you don't know the anointing of closed doors. Yeah. 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 My God. He went to Jesus publicly. Yeah. 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 Some thought made a fool of himself. Come on. Yeah. 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 In January, somewhere about June, they thought you made a fool That's of yourself too. Yeah. 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 Until Jesus shut the door. Yeah. Yeah. But they don't know that he's anointed to close the door. Yes, he is. But every time he closes, mm, mm, mm. he don't just add.
March 14th. March 14th, 15th. You've been sitting to something, and I heard you say, God, I need you to do it. And you trust God with everything in you, and God said, you know it. My God, God have mercy. And I'm telling you, so what about March 14th, 15th? Listen, hold on. Shut up. And the enemy has done everything in his power to make you throw in the towel. My God. And the Lord said, he honors your faith. My God. I'm telling you. Shut up. It's going to be worked away.
Blood pressure regulate diabetes. Jump out. 
Come on, we get ready to go. 